Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into fairy core or decorating videos or Animal Crossing in general, maybe consider subscribing to join our little AC family. For today's video, I will be continuing my little series of decorating my villager yard. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Here is the area that I will be working on today. I already went ahead and carved out the sunken part of this build, which I will give you guys a closer look next, but I will be decorating all of this and creating a fairy garden in the lower part and here is a closer look of the first part of the sunken area and here is the second part of the area in case you want to copy it for your island so i'm going to start by carving out the water and creating little ponds here i want this to be a nice little fairy garden and this area will be for our baby chelsea i was going to originally give this area to gala but i feel like chelsea has been on my island a lot longer than gala and i feel like you know it's time to give chelsea a nice little area and move her onto my actual island instead of having her on my beach and she also deserves it plus she did give me her photo recently so i thought it would be perfect to place her here once i get gala Gala's photo then I'll do her yard next and I'm going to be placing cliffs on both sides just to give the illusion of the sunken area this area is behind Lily's yard so if you are following along with what I'm doing I'm just connecting Lily's yard with this area so now I'm going to go and start adding the waterfalls to some of the cliffs and then once I finish that I'll show you guys how this area looks before I start creating the cliffs and here is how the first section looks and here is a down view of the section and here is the second part. I'm just showing you guys how it looks so it can be a lot easier to recreate. I'm going to start adding a lot of vines here. I want it to look overgrown and I'm so obsessed with the vines ever since they added it to the update. You will literally see vines up against the cliffs in every single one of my builds. After adding the vines, I'm going to start creating the cliffs. For the left side is going to be a lot shorter than the right side for now. I might go back later on and expand the left side. I'm thinking of adding my house to the left side so this might be a good idea for an entrance to my castle house i'm still thinking in my head on how i want it to look but i think i'm going to place it on the left side because i have a lot more space over there i think next to lily or marshall's homes i'm going to place marina's house because both sides have a beach area and since marina is a cute little octopus i want to give her a nice little beach front and we have chelsea just hanging around waiting for us to finish creating her house i also forgot to mention that this is also next to my entrance build so it's smacked right in the middle between my entrance build and behind Lily's yard. I'm also creating this cliff to kind of help guide you to the next section which will be in between this section and my able sister shop. I have a lot of sections on my island and I'm just trying to connect each one seamlessly. I might also extend this cliff a little bit more but I'll see if I need to do that. So I'm almost done building this cliff. Once I finish this I'm going to go back and show you guys how each cliff looks. I know some of you guys find it helpful when I show you guys how it looks before I decorate it. So here's how the right side of the cliff looks like. Here is how the little pond on the left side looks. And here is how the left side of the cliff looks. So I'm going to place Chelsea's house first before I start decorating. Doing this makes it so much easier to see how the custom designs and the areas look. It could be a little risky because once you place it, that's it. And then you have to time travel and move the house somewhere else and then fix the area and then place the house back. If you don't want to do that, you could always mark off a four by four little section. I used to do that, but I live on the wild side now and I just placed the house down and then just decorate around it. Also, I wanted to give you guys an update on the villagers. I now have all 10 villagers on my island. You guys voted for Mary and I just got her yesterday, so she's still settling in. So once I have her photo, I will eventually do her yard, but I finally don't have to worry about who I will have on my island. I just have to focus on decorating. Villager hunting is so stressful because I want every single villager, but I can only have 10. There were a couple of villagers that I really wanted and maybe I'll switch out somebody maybe i won't i kind of like the color scheme of all of my villagers that i have i have three green villagers three pink villagers three white villagers and then i have chelsea who is a white villager but she has green hair so i kind of put her in her own little category but she's technically a white villager but i say all of that to say that i love how they all look on my map i also finally finished adding all of the design codes that i'll be using for this island so all of the design codes that you see in this build will be listed in the description below there are some that i haven't used yet and i'm pretty excited to use them in the future so for this build i was only going to decorate this section but for some reason 
reason I got this urge to create a sunken area and I was like you know what I'm going to lump it into a villager home and I've been also dying to create a fairy garden so for the sunken area portion I was like you know what I'm going to add the fairy garden down there so that when you're passing by through this section you have a nice view of the fairy garden I have so many empty spaces on this island and I just feel like for me to finish decorating an island quicker I need to start decorating larger sections and that's how I finished the tropical fairy core island in like five or six months which is the fastest that I've ever finished an island and that was because I was decorating large sections at a time I want to say that I'm like 50% done with this island and I usually know the theme that I want to do for my next island but I really don't know what I want to do for my next island and maybe I'll create a poll in the future so you guys can help me with that I've been wanting to do a Disney island I've been playing a lot of Disney Dreamlight Valley and I've kind of been obsessed with decorating my valley over there so I want to show you guys how it looks when I finish it kind of give you like a little tour of my village every time I think I'm done they come out with a new event that has like all of these cute items that I just want to use and I'm such a Disney head and I've just been obsessed with all the items so that's why I'm like I think I want to do like a Disney themed Animal Crossing island but we'll see and I've also been obsessed with playing Elden Ring and you guys are probably like you play Animal Crossing, Disney Dream Life, these cozy games. Where does Elden Ring fit in all of this? But sometimes I just have to de-stress by playing a stressful game. <laughs> I really love the theme of Elden Ring and I kind of want to create that in Animal Crossing as well. I've seen people do an Animal Crossing Zelda Island and I want to do something like that. So I have all of these ideas in my mind. I just realized this turned into a get to know me a little bit outside of Animal Crossing. I was going to do a Q&A but I completely forgot. I will do one in the future though. But yeah, those are some of the ideas that I have for my next island theme. So we'll see which one I'll go for. But back to this build. I'm going to decorate this area up until the waterfall that you see on the right and I'm going to add a ruined arch to kind of seal this area off. I'm not sure what I want to do behind this area but I guess that's for future Luna to worry about. For this cliff I'm going to keep it simple and just add a couple of trees and items to fill in the empty space. I might change this later on so I'm not being too particular with what I'm doing here. For now I'm just going to add some fairy core items like the crescent moon chair filling in the spaces with some trees pink and white flowers a mushroom platform and a brick well and then adding the trees and the holes that I made I'm planning to maybe add a bridge over here which is why I added a small little pond to help guide me for when I do decide to decorate that area now I'm keeping this cliff simple because I want to go back and expand it just a little bit depending on where I want the bridge to be whenever I do make it for this back part I'm not going to decorate it that much I'm going to add a few items and just call it a day but I'm going to first go to the sunken part and then decorate decorate that part before I get stuck down here and for this fairy garden I'm just going to fill it up with a bunch of flowers I wanted to add a tree here but I felt like it might be a little bit too much so I decided to add some stone and leaf designs with a log bench here continuing to add more flowers and in this little area is where I'm going to add the tree a cute little decoy duck this fossil that looks like a rock and some more flowers and some glowing mosses a butterfly and of course a cedar tree now I'm going back to finish off this back portion I'm going to add some more trees a mush parasol some more custom designs and the star of the show which are the valiant statues on each side and to finish off this build I'm going to add the castle towers to each side so here's how the front of Chelsea's house looks I love her yard so much it turned out so beautiful I hope she enjoys it and here is how the right side of her house looks with both waterfalls on each side and here is my favorite part of the build, which is the sunken fairy garden. I love the Valiant statues on each side. They really make this area feel very fairy core, very whimsical. And here is how the front of the sunken area looks. And here is how the back part looks. Lastly, here is how the left side looks. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the build and the video, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Also, don't forget to have your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. I love you all so much. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!